What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna try posting videos either daily or basically daily this whole week here trying to get this duly done in a crunch. I want you guys to see the finished product before this giveaway is over because I think some more of you people will fall in love with this thing once you see it all buttoned up. So um, we're gonna work like crazy. Um, getting up earlier, working later, we're going to try to get this whole week, we're going to try to get this truck done. Got to get it done for you guys before the giveaway ends. That way you can see it before the giveaway ends in case it makes you want to either enter or put in a few more entries and fall in love with the truck a little bit more. We're going to get that done. Uh, however, if the truck's not done by the last day of the giveaway, it's still going to get finished. We're still going to finish everything on it that we said we were going to do to it. It just won't be done before the end in case that helps you decide if you want to enter or not. We're on our way over to one of Reagan and I's properties right now I've got to mow the lawn over there funny enough I don't even live over at this property obviously like I have to drive over here but like I mow my lawn more than any of the neighbors here and I don't I don't even live there and I've already got other places I gotta maintain and take care of too and run business stuff and all this whatever I don't know everybody's different but the one neighbor's lawns like like 15 inches tall already. Maybe they just don't like mowing. We're gonna be filming a Brotherhood Outdoors video. Guys, if you want to watch the outdoors content, I was doing it on here for a while and I thought, you know what, I'm still gonna film whatever I want, but instead of posting everything on this channel like I did for a few weeks there, I'm just gonna go back to pretty much, if it's truck related specifically, it's going on here. If it's outdoors related, whether that be fishing, hunting, management tips, gear reviews, stuff like that, it'll all be on the outdoors channel. And um, so if you wanna watch that, all that stuff, the deer management stuff, hunting, all that jazz, link is in the description. It's my outdoors channel. It just, I'm pretty sure it says my outdoors channel and then there's a link. We're doing a deer hunt giveaway for the 2021 deer season. So if you wanna get in on that too, it's not live yet, but it will be live and all the information will be more available on that channel than this one probably. So if you wanna go check that out, all that information, uh, hit the link in the description below, go to that channel, check out the videos over there and the community posts and stay up to date. So let's get over here, we're gonna mow this front lawn and then I'm gonna film a Brotherhood Outdoors video that we're gonna get back to the shop and get to working on that dually for you guys. We're done messing around over at my property this morning, get a little bit of mowing trail maintenance. I actually found some morel mushrooms by accident. I was just mowing and I looked off the side of the trail and I was like, there's mushroom. So I picked a few mushrooms, uh, might go back later, not sure. Stay tuned to the Brotherhood Outdoors channel if you want to see anything like that outdoors related content from now on. We're gonna get into working on the dually this morning and we've got a few things we've gotta do on this truck before this giveaway ends. We've got six days left, which by the way, can you ducks get out and chickens get out of my barn? What the heck? Dude. That's the last thing I need. So we're gonna be doing some stuff on the dually. Six days left to enter to win. This 12 out Cummins five speed manual plus $5,000 cash. So if you wanna enter to win this 12 out dually sport plus five grand, the last six days, hit the link in the description below or just go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store. And as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win this truck times 20 right now, 20 X entries are here. It went from every $1 one entry to now every $1 20 entries, which is essentially every nickel you spend gets you an entry towards winning this truck plus five grand. Last few days to enter though, so get in while you can. What we're gonna be doing today is trying to install the twin intake. Are you kidding me? I'm like, what is that sound? Freaking chickens over here. I just don't understand it, I just don't. I mean, like, stay out. You're not a very good guard cat, Vinkle. We're gonna be working on the twin intake system on this truck today, so we've probably got to pull off the top plate over top of the valve covers. We gotta pull off the fuel lines. We're gonna have to pull off, obviously, the stock intake, and then we're gonna have to pull off the manifold cover on the air side of things. So let's pop the hood and show you what I'm talking about. So this is actually the Banks Power Pack Twin Ram air thing that we're gonna be putting on the truck. That's, I mean, at least we're gonna be trying to put it on the truck today. Hopefully it's successful and hopefully it's not that difficult. There's the pusher compound turbo piping kit over there and the air filter and all that jazz. So let's get this hood popped. So we're gonna be getting rid of all of this ugliness right here, pulling the fuel lines. You gotta pull this cover off here. We just have to take off this cover right there, which with the fuel lines off, that should actually be pretty darn easy to pull off. Then get the twin intake manifold cover there, put that in there, and I've got the shop vac ready, plugged in, 
with the thinner nozzle on it. Because when you do pull off your manifold cover on the air side, there is a chance you can get some small debris of the old gasket that falls down in there and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna try to do is as I'm chipping it away, have the shot back here and just have it like sitting down there sucking air down in just below wherever I'm gonna be working so that if anything does fall in it, sucks it right up out of there. And then when I'm done, of course, just make sure everything's cleaned up. You'd rather be safe than sorry. If you get a little debris in there, like I'm talking like teeny tiny, it's not the end of the world, but you don't wanna push your luck, you know, just cause it's a 12 valve and it can handle some forms of abuse doesn't mean you should be stupid. So let's get to dismantling some things here. And then tomorrow we're gonna work on the next part of the project. And this week's mission is to take this truck from pretty much stock other than a fuel plate to, you know, roughly 400 horsepower, compound turbo, dually, five speed. I mean, that's the goal. So we got head studs and all sorts of stuff we're gonna be doing, injectors and turbos and all that fun stuff. So let's get into it right now, stay tuned. filming for a total of 22 minutes and this is what I got done in 22 minutes I'm actually I don't want to say you know to my own horn and say I've been impressed by myself but I remember doing this the first time with my dad on his truck and let's just say it took us like I don't know two hours just to get to this point I got the fuel lines pulled off got those set down over there on that box I got the manifold cover taken off on this side. I mean, it went pretty smooth. The gasket came off in a couple pieces and then I took a razor blade and just slid it along underneath here and got the rest of it off. And then I took the shop back and vacuumed in all these cracks and crevices all up in here and then went down in there and made sure that there was nothing that got left down in there as well. So it uh, turned out pretty darn clean. So I'm gonna show you the new parts that are going in and then we're gonna get to reinstalling that stuff. So my battery charged up a little bit more. So here is the manifold cover for the location, obviously, where we just took the old one off. This thing looks awesome. So I had to transition this sensor right here. I am I don't know if it's an airflow sensor, what it is, I don't really know anything about it other than it was a sensor and it was in there and I transferred it over. It came from right out of here on the old intake manifold. So we're gonna put this up under here, get this put into position, and uh, this should just go up in here and slide right down in. And I had no idea that it was red. I thought that it was like, just like a, like a stainless or aluminum like color. I'm actually super stoked that it's red because then it matches everything else and it'll just give it a little more engine bay color. So I'm super excited about that. So let's get the gasket put on, get this dropped in there, and get this thing all bolted up. done in terms of the uh, Banks twin intake today. That was my main goal for today. There's a lot of other stuff we could do, but between editing two videos I still gotta do, which takes a couple hours usually each, between editing a couple of videos and more property work I still have to get back over there and do, I have to go pick up a tractor, haul it over, get that all done. I'm just not gonna be able to film more than this today, and if I do, I'm gonna probably, chances are, I'm gonna be on a roll and something's gonna come up and then I'm gonna get frustrated and they're not gonna be able to step away from the project for today. So tomorrow we will come back out here and continue further on this. But let me show you the progress we've got. So here's the twin intake. 
looks good. I've got all these blue caps that came with the Banks twin intake system. It came with all these caps to put over top of all your injectors and all of your fuel delivery ports basically coming here on the pump itself. So all those are capped off so don't get any dirt and grime down in there because it just happens on these old engine bays. You got dirt and dust and crap everywhere. And I did set the fuel lines in place, but they're just like sitting here. If you see this, um, the whole thing picks up though. I mean, you can move it. You can see that. You can lift these all up one by one and put them on when they're ready. But the reason I did not reattach them is because we gotta do the injectors and I didn't want to reattach them because if I would connect them on that side, then there wouldn't be the flexibility on this side to be able to do the injectors. And if you look closely here, I'm gonna lift this on this side here, over here. If you lift this up and just kind of wiggle it a little bit, you can tilt this up completely out of the way like that and that will give you plenty of room to get your injectors out, put your new ones in, and then you can wiggle that back down and, it'll, and they'll just connect right on top. And another thing I noticed, this truck actually already has head studs in it. The guy told me that he had some, he said, preventable maintenance done way back. I don't know what all that meant other than he said, yeah, we, uh, we did a couple of things, you know, we messed with the turbo, you know, uh, boost screw and, you know, we messed with the, the AFC pump a little bit and whatever. I thought he just meant like a fuel plate and then you know, whatever, like a boost screw, like no big deal. But it's actually already got aftermarket head studs put in and I was able to figure out which ones they were and it looks to be they are the mighty diesel head stud bolts it actually does say that it says more than normal stock bolts many trucks are running up to 70 pounds of boost with no head gasket failure and of course disclaimers like oh this is not a guarantee of course because they don't want to get sued all that being said i don't know what to do now because i did buy head studs to put in it but head studs are one of those projects that like it's a necessary evil like like you've got to do them to prevent head gasket failure because that would suck. But when they're already done, it's like, do I dismantle the head studs that were just put in a couple of years ago? They are aftermarket head studs and put another set of aftermarket head studs in there or do I just leave those aftermarket ones in there, do the injectors and then do the compound kit and call it good. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I'm actually gonna post this video today and I did film it today when you see it. So uh, if you guys can let me know, you know, I'll do what you I'll do what you guys want me to do. It kind of seems like a waste of. It wouldn't be a waste if they were stock head bolts. Obviously, I bought you know head studs to replace them if they were stock. I hadn't, I didn't even realize that they were aftermarket head studs. But I don't know. To me, it kind of seems like it would be a waste if there's mighty diesel head stud bolts already put in there that are good for high boost pressure and all that stuff. That's up to you guys. Would you like me to still replace them anyway, even though? It's a pretty new set in the truck. That's an aftermarket set. That's good for what we're gonna do with it. Or not, I don't know if it'll make any difference if I just put basically almost the exact same set of head studs back in the truck. But yeah, you guys let me know. I wasn't expecting that. Or do you guys want me to just get right to the injectors and putting the compound turbo kit on there and then that'll be it. Because if I'm not doing the head studs, which is taking aftermarket head studs out and putting another aftermarket set of head studs in. If I'm not doing that, then I can pretty much get to starting on dismantling the manifold and turbo and pretty much get to the injectors and compound setup. Like tomorrow we can get started on that because the head studs, I, I was gonna set aside a whole day project just for that, just to take my time on it. But if they're already done, it kind of seems like a waste of time to pull out aftermarket head studs and put new aftermarket head studs in there. but. I don't know. You guys let me know. Anyways, guys, that is going to be a wrap on this video for today. Hopefully, guys got something out of this. Again, let me show you these head studs. Don't mess with the Crocs. So like I said, they, they are an aftermarket head stud. You guys can see that there all the way down. I mean, they're not stock. I can tell you that. They're a little dusty, but you know, I mean, you put anything under the hood of a truck for a year or two and it's freaking dusty nasty red our flatbed truck it's compound setup and intake and all the head bolts everything is already freaking coated in dirt and dust and you would think the kit's been in there for 15 years i'm telling you like it's just kind of crazy guys if you want to get entered to win this truck plus five grand giveaway ends in six days so grab those orders at lmpgear.com and that one dollar that you spend could get you this truck but of course we encourage you spend more than that because I mean, shoot, don't you want to see compounds on the next truck? 
That's what I'm saying. If you want to see something crazy, you guys buying a merch, that is how we pay for these. So like when you guys see these trucks and stuff, I'm not just like, oh, I'm just this guy with so much money. I just want to give my trucks away. No, this is this is the business. So you guys buying the merch is how we can afford to do these trucks. It's not like I'm a nice guy, but I'm not just uh, giving away 20 some pickup trucks at a Hellcat now just because I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. Like this is a legitimate business that we run. So everything is highly appreciated. We love you guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.